Hi everybody, it's Lenine at Always in Stitches. It's December 1st. I can't believe it's December. Um, this is our floss tube number 14. Peter's behind the camera. And I was going to show you a beautiful sweater vest he just finished, but he took it off saying he was hot, so I wouldn't make him show it to y'all. So we'll, we'll sneak it in later. Uh, let's see, what have we got? We got a lot of stuff going on this week, so let's get to it. The first thing is our shop of the week. And this was an interesting one. It's in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. It's called Dixie Darlin. Uh, let's see, Dixie Darlin Need a Workshop, and it's in Pigeon Forge. And it looks really good inside. They have a nice website. And um, look how cute it is on the outside. I like to sit on that front porch. I know, I would too with those rockers. So if you've got a minute and can stop by, the hours are on their website. It didn't happen to print on my um, printout, but um, I know they have pretty pretty normal hours. So give them a shout out if you're ever in Pigeon Forge, which a lot of people in the eastern part of the country like to visit Pigeon Forge. I haven't been there in a while. Have you ever been there? Mm -mm. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So anyway, that's our shop of the week. Their tomatoes turn red sooner than ours. Pigeon Forge's tomatoes do? In Tennessee. Mm -hmm. You're just a wealth of information, Peter. Did I tell my joke last time? <laughs> what joke? About the turkey. I can't remember. Did I okay, you guys, did I tell you this joke? What did a turkey say to the turkey hunter on Thanksgiving? What? Quack, quack. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell that joke. <laughs> <laughs> I told that to my grandkids, which are preteens, teens, you know, they just kind of did that emoji thing where it rolls your eyes, so yeah, it's like, whatever. Okay, we're going to go into some old finishes, some things about Christmas, and things I've done in the past. So my first one, because I just pulled it off the floor, it's still a sample after a million years. Is the ink still drying? It's still, I don't think so. I think the ink's way dry. Oh. I mean, we even have a yellow barcode on it. Um, this is... Oh, gosh, I don't know the name of it. It's from Tidings by Art to Heart, this book. And it's an embroidery piece with Mill Hill, or not Mill Hill, sorry, just another button company buttons on it. And let me see if I can remember what the heck the name of it is. Probably something about nativity. I was meant to look that up and I forgot. Christmas sampler. Oh, gosh, Peter. He gets me all befuddled before we do this and... Well, shoot. Well, anyway, it's in this, and it was fun to make. Here it is on the very front page of the book. And it was fun to make, and I probably made it five or six years ago, and it's still selling well, and um, everybody likes the three-dimensional part of that. So there's that. Okay, what's another old finish? Old finish. This is another sample in the shop. It's called Bringing Home the Tree by Sue Hillis Designs. We sell the heck out of this pattern, and it's not a fun pattern. Um, I did this probably four or five years ago also, and um, we keep selling it too. But it's got a lot of those darn half stitches and things that we don't do anymore. But, it, you know, it's okay. It's a cute little thing. It doesn't, it's not the same color as my cute little truck. But there's that. Here's some old ones that I don't have a clue what they are. But I want to share with you since it's Christmas time. Everybody should be getting Christmas decorations up. This one I did a while back, a long time ago. And it has Mill Hill buttons on it. I can't tell you what it is. But the suggestion was to get one of those Ackfeld um, wrought iron hangers. And there's my fringe again. If the snowman is missing. The snowman's not going to be missing. <laughs> but here's how I finished the back. I want to show you the back. Oh, it's like an envelope. Yeah, well, kind of. I just folded it over. There's glue. You, I can feel the glue. And then folded it over again and glued this down so that it hung over there permanently. It wasn't going to end up falling off. But that was a fun one to do a while back. That's, That's an neat. old one. Yep. That's nice. Okay, next is a yo-yo, my yo-yos. Oh, you made a tree. Yep, made a, made a Christmas tree out of yo-yos. You guys, I love yo-yos. 
So we just used a piece of tallying, uh, made the yo-yos out of some scraps, and then we also put Look a hemmed fancy hem on the bottom of it to make it just kind of all put together. That's cool. So that's, that was a fun one years ago. Yo-yos. Yo, 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 yo's. Okay, here's another one. It's got Mill Hill buttons on it. It's a yo yo tree, and it was a pattern from several years ago that we had up as a sample for a while. So, got that done. And these are all, luckily, they're at my house now. I can hang them in well, my Well, lucky house. you. So, I had to take them down today before I came so that I could share them with my friends, all my peeps. Okay, this is one that I actually know what it is, but it's. This is uh, available on the secondary market. It's called uh, Winter Welcome Banner. And I did this in, a number of years ago also. It's probably before I even opened the shop in 2007. So, got that done. That's cool. Yeah. That was a fun little one and I took it and had it framed. So that's fun. A little cardinal up there saying, refill my bird feeder. Yeah. Well, now he's got a little bit of corn in there. I think it's corn. Do you have bird feeders out? I do in? not because we have mean birds. 2008 was when I did that one. Would so you I say they're angry at yeah, times? Yeah, they're angry. They're angry. Okay, got another old one. This is a Trail Creek Farms pillow from a long time ago. Um, we used to carry Trail Creek Farms. I don't think they're in business any longer. But they have some crystal little, oh, that little doodad's loose. Some of these crystal, I think these are Mill Hill crystal buttons. These were fun because they came with everything included. The pillow, the pillow form, the everything was all included. So that's another old one. Okay. I think that's all my old ones until I start doing something else. I'm going to talk about the quilt behind us. Hold on, let me get back here because oh, it's a big move, quilt. It's a big end. And it looks like she used the mirrors. Is it like a, what do you call that? She fussy cut this, Did I she believe. Fussy cut it? Kathy in sewing machines. She's our sewing machine salesperson. She just finished this. It's not bound yet, but Peter picked this out to, to bring and put back on the wall. We have the kits. They're Among the Stars quilt kit, and it's Morrison Company from Free Spirit, and here's the kit. We have several kits, and it is $149.99 for the kit. But it's got everything in it. All the fabric comes with it with a pattern. And it makes a really good sized quilt. Yeah, it's pretty. It's very pretty. I love especially that big leaf border on the edges. That is gorgeous. Yeah, I do too. So that's fun. Okay, let's see. Old sampler. I'm going to jump around on you just so it keeps you on your toes. Okay, I, I printed off a little cheat sheet about this. But by the way, what's speaking of keeping people on their toes, what's today? December 1st. I know. What day of the week? Thursday. Okay. Why? Why are you asking me that for? Because it's different. It's different than when it's we usually film. It's different because Peter and Kathy confuse me. So we just, we're just we just going to ignore people. I like how everybody blames everybody else <laughs> I know. for this. I know. It's great. Okay, so. Hush Kathy up, blamed me. I know. Kathy, Kathy blamed, blamed me. You and On I blamed, Tuesday, I she I'm blamed me. Blame. Okay. She said I have a lot of filming to do. <laughs> Araminta. Pilcher, born November 1834, and she was actually born November 3rd, 1834. She was in Marion Center Township in Grant County, which is north of Hamilton County, about two counties, so they're just north of us a little piece. Um, she had, this is interesting because I, I pulled this off of the internet, she had, I think there were nine children in their household. And there's six on this sampler. Robert, Araminta, I think that's Mary. Notice how Mary, her A is, is backwards. Cecilia, Francis, and George. So it tells when they were born. 1832, 1839, 1841, 1834, 1834. Anyway, this one, they're sure that she's the one that, that actually did this one. And she died before 1850. So she was only... 16, 15, when she died. So um, I think this is very interesting. And it was cross stitch. All the cross stitches are silk thread. Wow. And the sides, where some of all of the motifs are, are wool thread. Wow. 
And so they have some interesting, they said that um, the silk was normally used earlier than this silk thread. I'm not sure why they think that. And that wool was more prevalent, especially because in 1834, when she was born, Indiana was a pretty uh, a wilderness. It, it, it wasn't much going on in Indiana. So but anyway, I think that's fun. I'm still trying to figure out how to reproduce a sampler. I don't know how to do that. I don't know what what software I need. I don't think I do it by hand, but I'm, hmm, I don't know, whatever. So that's my uh, sampler of the week. Do you want people to put links in the comments yeah, of, of software? How to, yeah, how do of people like software programs? Yeah. How do people design cross stitch patterns? Because I would like to take some of the motifs and make some smalls out of them. And I know that there's a way to do it and I don't want to reinvent the wheel. So that's Please why link, somebody yeah. knows how to do it. Please like link in the comments yeah. the software that yes, is please. trustworthy. Yes, because I have eight of these that I'd like to use for making smalls, and I just don't know what I'm doing yet, so we'll figure it out. Okay, um, I'm going to talk about, I have one fin fully finished, and that's this one, and it's Praise God, um, Doxology, I think it's called, by Sweet Wing Studios, and I finished it twice. Didn't like the first finish. I'm not real crazy about the second finish. Are you going to go for a third? No. Um, so I'm just going to leave it like this, and it's fine the way it is. I bought the box at Hobby Lobby. It's just a framed box. Painted it, put wax on it, and then um, decided to use the pom-poms. I had put it on another piece of uh, foam board and wrapped the foam board with fabric and put it on, and it was just too bulky or something. It just didn't look right. So I took it all apart. I had to throw the box away and get a new one because it tore up the box. So anyway, that's just went out on the floor. It's one of our samples. So that's one of mine. And I have another one to show. This is from Donna. Donna's one of our sample makers. Thanks, Donna. Thanks, Donna. Quaker sampling. What number is that, do you know? That's number six. Good for you. Um, so Nancy, we have some of these old spools around. So Nancy used an old spool and finished it for Donna. And it went out on the floor this week also. Stunning. And look how Nancy, she laced it up in the back. Isn't that, isn't that fun how she did that? She's fancy. Yeah, and she used those, um, those uh, that open stitch to use as the lace-up part. I think that's fun. Wow. I'm sure that's what they told her to do, but I still think that's fun. Yeah. It's cool how they did that. So there's that. Now let's see. We have old sampler Christmas finishes. Oh, yeah, I finished. I got another one to show you that I finished. I brought some surprises for you, Peter. Oh. Yeah. Now I've got to find my finish. I should have had it out already. Oh, oh, oh. April's finished. Oh, he's so cute. So this is uh, Pine Mountain. It's going to end up looking like this. But I did finish it the other night and pressed it this morning. And then I'll get it finished before our next floss tube, so. Look at those little whiskers. Yeah, so it's all done. So I'm so thankful. And I've got another one that I finished. I did finish Sneaky Spooky Spells. <gasps> it's at the framer right now, so oh. maybe next time I'll have it. Um, I put it in a kind of a... Did you tell me you had a floss tube? You need it today? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's actually, I think like tomorrow or... Today's Thursday. Tomorrow or Monday will be two weeks, so I should be getting it back any time. So I got that finished, so I'm... Darn whips, anyway. So I gotta talk. I can't forget to talk about that, though. Okay, what's next? Regular whips. Okay, so let's see. Oh, this is a sad whip. This is Peter and I's witch. Why is it sad? Hell, my dog got a hold of it. She never does this. And look what she did at the top. Look at that. What she did right there. Well, good thing she it's on the salvage. On she chewed on it, and you know what was there? The little barcode that tells you what the fabric is was stapled on there. It's just the salvage. I know it is, but I'm sad. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> she chewed it, and there was a staple in it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and I had those magnet, little magnet things on yeah. it. Yeah. She chewed it up and swallowed the magnet. <gasps> <laughs> did, yeah. anything, did anything stick to her belly when she was running around? No, but... <laughs> <laughs> she got up at 5 o'clock in the morning getting sick, and I was like, I know, I knew you'd do that. 
But anyway, I did get some more of this done. So here's our Jardin Privé Lady Halloween, and I got more done. I got her hair done. I got part of the, I think that's a, like a wand, a magic wand there, right there. And I got a P done and the S done. How much you got done, Peter? I don't have anything done. Well, Peter's got a beautiful sweater vest, though, with, what's it called? What's that? Fair Aisle. Work? Fair Isle. Oh, my gosh, you guys, it's beautiful. I'll try to take a picture of him and have him insert it, but he's kind of funny about that stuff. I could probably just take a picture of it on my desk. No, we need you in it so people can see your um, face and if know If you came what's into going the on. shop today, you saw me in my sweater. Whatever. Okay, so this, I forgot. This is on 32 count Lugana white. I love Lugana. Lugana is like one of the best fabrics to work on. So that's our witch lady. Okay, put this, uh, where am I going to put it? Put it in the back. Or the yeah, put it in the back. Very that's bad. A good, that's a good idea. Okay, so next is, oh, I got, I got some done on this. This is Manna D. Donna Cape Cod 1620 sewing box. Oh, heck. Oh, yeah, they're in here. Okay. So I have the girl done, and the girl is down here in the corner. And now I started the boy, and he's up here. So I got... The, I hadn't started the boy at all last time, so I got, uh, it's about a third of the way done probably. Maybe a little more. So okay, that's coming right along. The picture does not do those colors justice. Even no, on the, it doesn't. Even, even on the, I don't know if that's your personal copy of the pattern, but. It is. I okay, take a copy even, of it. Even on the regular pattern, mm -mm. it still didn't look this cool. No, no. This, the, the colors are great. That corn looks good. Yep. Or those torches. Yep. Corn Those are torches, corn. I don't know. That's corn. They're corn with the pumpkins. Did you know you put pumpkins in your corn when you plant it? No. Yeah. When you plant a hill of corn, you should plant a couple of either cucumbers or, or any kind of viney thing. Uh, pumpkins. And you then you they grow up. Your corn kind of gives it a little. Well, that's cool. Yeah. We always did that when I was when I had a garden back in the day. That one. Let's see, this is, I about got this one done. I'll have it done next time too, I'm so excited. This is that one where the oh. fabric, we like the fabric, but we can't. Okay, what's the name of it? Birds of a Feather Holiday Season. So this is the one I'm doing, it's the spring one. And I just have a couple of things. I have a shamrock and a shamrock here. I need to finish my bird and this um, spring showers. So I'm just about done. I worked on this last night while I was watching. Oh gosh, what's it called? It's Alaska. Is it's, it one of those wilderness ones? No, it's, um, oh gosh, now I was gonna try to remember. Alaska, it's a newspaper in Alaska. I think it's in Anchorage. And I just started watching it, it's a series. It's new and it's got Hillary Swank in it. You oh, Hillary yeah, Hillary Million Dollar Baby. What is it? She was in Million Dollar Baby. Oh, was she? I don't know. Uh -huh. She's she's the one of the reporters for the. And I haven't heard of her in for a long time. Yeah, she, she's she's probably okay. all grown up. Okay, see, there's my dog, chewing on my label. Well, your dog has been busy. <coughs> oh gosh, no kidding. I don't know what's, but Brett's out of town, so maybe that's why she's been busy. Okay, this is Hocus Pocus, and there's what Hocus Pocus hands on design. And I've got, this is getting real close too. I think I'm going to have a lot of finishes You're here. You're going to have a lot of finishes. Before I go to Florida. Okay, so I got quite a bit of this done. I just have to outline the rest of Hocus and then finish, finish this. And then I'll be done. And I can try to finish it like she has shown with the little bat buttons, bead things that I showed last time. So this is Signs of the Season. Love it. And this is a fun fabric to work on and I know I should know what it is. 32 Linen. count Belfast flax. Belfast flax. Belfast flax. So I got that whip. Okay, let's see what's next. I didn't work on my flag. That's all right. You got so much of that done though. So. It probably needs oh, to I'm sit sorry. and marinate for a while. Yeah, it needs to think. I need to think. Okay, let's see. I didn't work on that one. There was another one I worked on. Where did it go? Huh. Okay, well, here's my Cape Cod, uh, no, Coming to America. Look at the pig! So I got the pig done, 
and started some of the chickens. Is it coming to America or yeah. going to America? No, it's coming to America. The no, women I know. I know it says coming to America, but is it going to America? If you weren't in America and you were going to go to America. I guess it would be going, but they're why talking. Why do they say it I don't coming? know. Here's Unless they had silly. relatives that were already here. And then no, like, I think these hey, guys were new. They were at Plymouth Rock. Have you been to Plymouth Rock? Uh-uh. It's in a big glass box. <laughs> I mean, it's in the ocean, but it's in a big black glass container, and you can see it, but you can't do anything to it. You just go look at it. But anyway, I'm, I'm still working on that. I got my needles sticking out. That's funny. I don't know why that's doing that. I have a surprise for you, though. I can't, re I can't wait to show you my surprise. Look at that. Love it. Yeah. So that's my coming to America, so I'm working on it a little bit at a time. I really like this one because as you get further down, there's, like, little fish. Yeah. I can't wait to... I think there's a horse in here, too. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I don't... Okay, that. There was something else, though, Peter. There was another whip. Okay, oh, I forgot to show you Do you have the things. show notes? It might be on the yeah, show notes. Yeah, but I, I'm not even close to my show notes. Oh. Okay, whip. This was my special whip from um, Glendon Place. Holy moly moly. You guys, this is old. I'm not sure how long I've been working on this. But I've got it on a scroll frame. Wow. And I've started beating this part. Wow. We don't carry this pattern. I know it's still available. We just don't carry the pattern anymore. Um, so I can't remember. This is the one of the edges. And then I've got lots more stitched. But you can't bead until you're done stitching because you don't want it rolled up in the on the frame for very long. So that is that piece right there. Wow. And I'm, this is what my pip is for this month, is working on trying to finish this square. Wow. Right here. And this fabric is awful. It's very stretchy. It doesn't, but huh. so this was my, this was, was my Fair awful. Isle Fair sweater, Isle. you know. Thing. Yeah, it looks like a sweater. Oh, well, it is stretchy. Oh, it's very stretchy. And I don't like that it That would all. make a good sweater. No, no, you wouldn't cut this. You would not cut it if it, but so that's a whip. That's one of my whips, but I haven't worked on it forever and ever. And, and look at the, I gotta show you the flosses. The flosses, this was uh, Dinky Dye's floss. Look at the floss that it uses, it's beautiful. Look at that silk. No, the, cotton? Yeah, no, they're, Dinky Dye's are silk. But yeah, this, and you use Mill Hill beads and so that's my little doohickey. So someday. Be, hopefully before I'm retired. What did you put on your pip list for next year? Pip list? Do I have to have a pip list for next year? Well, it's due December. Oh, that pip list. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's due our next meeting. In the, or not our next meeting. Like the 16th or something. Okay, so this is another... See, I'm, I'm confused. This is another old piece. You know, some, you know how you like to do things on different stuff? Well, I saw this... And it was in, I saw it earlier what it was in. It was in 2011 Cross Stitch and Needlework Magazine. And this is what the pattern looked like. And I thought, oh, that's kind of curious. And it showed making a bag. So I got all excited because I had a piece of burlap and made this silly bag that's hanging in my basement doing nothing, absolutely nothing. But it was very intriguing to cross stitch on burlap. And then I finished it on the ends. What could I do with this? You could, could put I... those socks that you're, or not socks, those Mitt mittens that no, you're knitting. I'm not knitting any mittens. You're knitted mittens. No, I'm not knitting mittens. Peter tried to show me how to knit, or was trying to attempt to show me how to start mittens to knit, but I said, mm, I don't think that's me. Okay, what's next? Oh, yeah. I got my, did I show this the last time? I can't remember. Yeah, oh, I, I think did? so. I think so. I don't remember. Little pin tree pin keep, and I think I did because I showed the back of it. That's the only reason I think I remember is that I showed this last time. I'm in a pin, pin keep club with scattered seeds, but that's what that is. And I have one, I have a pip, right, or not pip, what do you call it when it's it's kitted but not? Um, now that I don't know. A quip? <laughs> no, that's a quilt in progress. Okay, so... I have I I have the fabric picked out for this, and I have I don't have the wool picked out, but here's the fabric, and it's country mo or uh, 
vintage country mocha, I think. And then here's my two flosses from General Art that I'm going to use, and it's all the words are all done in the brown. Don't and they then just call it kitted. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's kitted. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. so I've got that sort of kitted, but it's ready to go. But I'm not going to start it until I get one more whip done, or like finished stitching, and maybe not finished finished. So. Did you make that project bag? No, this I can't remember. This is one of them I got. And I ordered two more, and I thought they might be here by now, and I could show them off, but they aren't. They have not come yet. So hopefully I get those before the next one. Last time we were talking about punch needle and primitive stitches magazine that Nancy was going to cheat and look online at the, and we got a man. <laughs> you guys, if you haven't looked at this magazine, they're fun. They have a lot of good ideas. They even have a couple of recipes, and um, they have a lot of how-tos in here, so... We carry these at the shop if you're interested in um, getting one of these. They're they're fun. They're fun to look at. Nancy and I fight over them. So, oh no, I lost my my tag. So there's that. That goes to the project that goes with the to dog the hole. The, that's the witch. That's yeah. the witch project. Okay, what's next? Let's see. Did I, oh, I haven't shown this yet? Right? Not yet. Okay, I finished this this morning. It's a sample. It's not, it just got quilted by our long arm quilter, Cindy. It's a small little table topper. And it's out of Nancy Halverson's Art to Heart, Liberty Heights. And she has four seasons worth of books. I brought the pattern pack in here, but it's kind of, it's a big pattern pack. But anyway, this is the little um, table topper. I think there's a better picture. This is a better picture of the table topper. So I got that done this morning, and Cindy quilted it already for me. So I'll give it to Grandma Ginger because I have people. Grandma Ginger likes to um, bind quilts, so I'll give it to her tomorrow when she comes into work to bind my quilt, and I'll have another sample done. So I've gotten some samples done. They won't fire me now, maybe, if I've got samples going. Doing what I'm supposed to. Okay, what else? New patterns. We don't have very many. I'm really sad. They're on order. <laughs> well, everybody, even designers are busy right now. So I know that there's, we just, there isn't very much new coming out. So I'll share what we've got that Nancy says is new. Okay, this is La Petite Croix. What is it? Gingerbread House Snowball. It looks like a snow globe to me. Doesn't look like a snow globe? Yeah, that's a snow globe. Yeah, that's kind of fun. But it's got some backstitching and things I see, which I don't like backstitching. Does it have any corner stitches, half stitches? I don't know. I can't. You like yeah, those half stitches? I think there are. You like those half stitches. Yep. Okay, here's Stars on a Pumpkin by Rosewood Manor. She's really getting outside of her yes, um, she is. thing, what she normally does. But it even comes with the little buttons. I think that's fun. It's always a pain to try to have a, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nancy's behind us. I sense her behind me. <laughs> it's always fun if you have your buttons included because to try to find the darn buttons sometimes can be a pain in the behind. Okay, so next. Big City Christmas Country Cottage Needleworks Department Store. I saw that. <laughs> Little House Needleworks Winter Wonderland. That's got Nancy's name all over it. I can tell you what all the designers are doing right now. What are they doing? Oh. They're doing the Jingle Ball. Yeah, Jingle Ball online. There's Twelve of them. That starts Friday. Yeah, I'm a Patreon for Teresa Kogut, and she's already said I can't get my charts out yet because she's been working on the Jingle Ball. So. Yep. Classes, exclusive patterns, meet and Did greets. you sign up? Did you do it? I did. Nancy's behind Peter, so. She's she's one of my troublemakers. She's my she's an enabler. She's the interim troublemaker since Cappy's. Yeah, Cappy and MIA. Jeff are gone to a place that's got sand and sunshine. And I just saw a picture of them with their toes in the sand, close to the ocean. So they're having a well-deserved break. Um, what else we got, Peter? What else is back there that I need to talk about? Oh, Nancy, would What's... you do me a favor and get our giveaway that's over about right here? on the shelf. 
Last time we had a giveaway, and I, I'll tell you what's in the giveaway in just a second, but it was tell me your favorite Thanksgiving side dishes. So I did a random thing where I, I didn't even really pay attention to what people were telling me, but the grant, oh here, let me tell you what it's in at first. Peter has a, an Italian Thanksgiving. I think he must have a teensy bit of Italian blood in him maybe, but he had meatballs on Thanksgiving. So I don't think that's a side dish. That might be instead of turkey. It was a side dish. A meatball was a side dish? Yeah, really? it was a side dish, yep. Along with, ever... along with fettuccine. <laughs> well, now fettuccine, I could see that being a side dish maybe. Have you ever been to Michelangelo's? You need to go to Michelangelo's. No, I haven't. That's really good. It's on the other side of Noblesville. It's but I did have some of Cappy's leftovers. Oh my gosh, they it's were good. delicious. A spinach and artichoke dip. Yeah, it's good. I didn't good know they stuff. could make it taste that good. Mm -hmm. So here's our giveaway. It's a project bag flurry by Teresa Kogut <sighs> with. I love um, that. I think it's like nine designs. I almost said ten, but there's nine designs in there, and we have a piece of real pretty blue. That is stunning. Uh, let's see. 32 count Sky, Weeks Dye Works Sky. It's a fat eighth. And we have a cute, the gnomes are gone. I'm sorry, I can't show you the gnomes, but it's a gnomes panel. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah, it's really cute. They make four gnomes, um, stuffed gnomes oh. with a piece of backing fabric from the same line. So that's our giveaway for today. And drum roll, please. It is going to be Jan Damico, D-A-M-I-C-O, and she's at Jan Damico, is what it says, at sign, whatever that means, and she likes cranberry jello mold, which I like, I like cranberry jello. I put apples and stuff like that in it, and I like is it. Is cranberry your jam? Oh, boy. You guys, you don't know, you don't know what I have to put up with. Sometimes I just wonder about Peter, so... Okay, we don't have a giveaway this week because I forgot. Peter was rushing me. I, you remember I said I was going to have a giveaway? Well, can't we have a giveaway and then go figure out what it is and it be a surprise? I know. I know. There I know you what go. it can be. A $25 gift card to Always in Stitches. And you can use it online or in the shop or however. So you can even give it as a gift if it's not something that Regift it. Regift it. I'm a regifter. Or buy some yarn. I buy, yeah, you can buy anything you want it. I buy things at Goodwill and give them to my kids for Christmas. <laughs> so isn't that regifting? Oh boy. Okay, well, it looks like we're done for today. I only have one more floss tube until I'll be out of town for a while. So I'm going to try to talk Nancy and Peter into doing them. Or we could just be on hiatus. I don't want to be on hiatus. I like my people. But I'll give you time to do lots of fun stuff. I know, but I don't know. You guys think I need a hiatus or should I have hiatus. Nancy and Peter? Oh, gosh. I'm asking them. Oh. Okay, my people. A hiatus? Should I take a break and not be here for six weeks? Or should I have Nancy and Peter do it? Because if weeks? you get a break, I get a break. Uh, yeah, but this is what you get paid to do, Peter. Oh. Guys, I have a hard life. So I'm going to try to insert a picture of Peter with his sweater on in the middle of the video. So you guys have a great couple of weeks. We'll see you in two-ish weeks. Keep stitching. Um, like I say, enjoy what you stitch or throw it away. Love you. Come see me. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. If you come in the shop, ask them to see me and tell, you, tell them you've seen me on Floss Tube, and I'll come out and talk to you because I've met a couple of new friends just recently. So if, if you do see me, you can say, hey, I saw Lenine on Floss Tube. Is she here? And they'll call me, and I'll come up and give you a squeeze, okay? Happy stitching. Bye. Yeah.